I'm going to go over this briefly, the file-based system. Um, you guys should read, read the lecture notes, read the chapters, pay more attention, but I'll just briefly give you an outline so you understand what's going on with um, the manual-based system, file-based system, and how we got to our database systems today. So think about a manual system, like file cabinets, or before we had everything on the computer, or even what you probably have at home to store bills. Um, well, unless you do e-bills, but if you aren't and you're printing them out, think about like just storing papers. Um, maybe it's doctor's paper, something, something that you can relate to, where you're storing it in some kind of file system that's on paper. And, and it's fine, and if you have a few doctor, doctor statements or something that you want to keep apart um, on paper, that's fine when it's small. But if you're a company, or if you have a business, let's say you're renting apartments, and just back in the day when you're storing it manually and using file cabinets, that can work, but as some, when th it breaks down at some point. Let's say somebody asks you, um, what is the average rent for a two-bedroom apartment? What are you going to do? Go through all of the two-bedroom apartments and add them up and then do an average? It, it starts backfiring when you have too much information. There are certain questions that you can't answer. Um, and then we get so therefore we go to this file-based system, which the file-based system is pretty much an attempt to put everything on the computer. So instead of having it on paper, you put it all on the computer. Um, and this system wasn't great either. Um, the problem with it is here, let me switch slides, bring you down to here. So this file-based system, it's application programs, but it's separate. Everything is very separate. So everyone, instead of having things in file cabinets on the computer, are great, but it's every department has their own data. They all manage their own data. Everything was very separate. So sales, sales has their information, um, billing has their information, and there's no shared data. So there's a lot of duplication. If if you think about it, and uh, if you if one person has names, name, sex, um, address, and then someone else has the same thing, there's a lot of a lot of duplicates. Nothing shared. It's not um, a great system. The database system is much more improved um, system. It re it goes and resolves some of the limitations that we have with the file based system. So the main part here, the main part of the database system is that it's shared. Um, the definition of the database is it's a shared collection of logically related data. So our database is this large repository of data and it's shared. So now everyone has the shared so that you no longer have these cases of all this duplicate data. 